Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you all are doing great. So in this class, we are going to discuss question number 20 of paper number 1 of set A of the year 2023. Okay, so here in this question, you have given a joint PDF f of x, y, which is 1 upon root 2 pi y e to the power minus 2y inside the bracket x minus 12y whole square. The range of x is given to you from minus infinite to plus infinite. The range of y is given to you. It is from 0 to 1. And the question is asking you to find the value of covariance of x and y. Okay. Now we are going to use the simplest method to find the answer of this question. Right. Okay. And one more thing I would like to tell you all that I am providing live classes for ISS. So if you would like to join, then please do let me know. You can contact me on Instagram. And from the Instagram, you can take my WhatsApp number. You can also um, contact me for the more details of the paid classes. Right. Okay. So now moving back to the question, we have to find the covariance of x, y. So for that, we have to use the formula that I'm going to write here. The formula that I'm going to use for covariance of x, y is covariance of expectation of x given y and y. Why I am using this? Because this will give you the answer in the shortest time. Right. It will save you time and it is the easiest one. So for that, what we want? We want the distribution, the conditional distribution of x given y. So how can we find that one? So from here, you can see we all have learned in our graduations that f of x given y can be written as f of x, y upon f of y. So from here, what will be the value of f of x, y? It will be f of x given y into f of y. Now, you can see we should always have LHS is equals to RHS, right? We have the value of LHS which is written here. So RHS should be the same. So I can write 1 upon root 2 by y. I am writing that value as it is. e to the power half y x minus 12 y square and into 1 at the place of f y. So why I am putting here 1? Because you can see the range of y is going from 0 to 1 and we have to identify the distribution of the conditional distribution of x given y and the distribution of this y. Right. So that is why it is clear from here that this f of y is following your uniform distribution with parameter 0 comma 1. Right. Okay. Because we can use the formula for the p the f of uniform distribution which is always 1 upon b minus a. This is representing the value of a, this is representing the value of b. So b minus a is always 1. So here we have this 1. Now what is the distribution of this x given y? So x given y, I am going to rearrange it. So x given y can be written as 1 upon root y, root 2 pi. So basically it is repre representing 1 upon sigma root 2 pi e to the power minus half x minus mu the whole square is here, x minus mu upon sigma. So at the place of sigma, I'm writing root y whole square, right? So you can see it is representing your normal distribution. So f of x given y is following your normal distribution with mean 12y and variance y. This is sigma, so variance will be y. Okay, now from here, I'm going to use this formula. So covariance of x, y is equal to covariance of. Now we have to write down here the expectation of x given y. So expectation of x given y is 12y. So I'm writing here 12y. Now we have the y. So I have written y. Now using the properties of covariance, what I can write because 12 is a constant value. So I can take it outside. So 12 times covariance of y, y. Now using the second property where you have seen that we are having the same random variable. So at the place of covariance, what we can write? We can write variance of y. This is a property of a covariance. Now, what is the value of variance of y? Y the PDF of y is uniform 0, 1. So for that, we have to remember the formula for the variance of this uniform distribution. It is always b minus a whole square upon 12. This is the value of a. This is the value of b. So accordingly, variance will become this 1 by 12. So we have 12 here. We have 1 upon 12 here. So you can cancel out this and this and we are getting 1. Right. So in this paper, the in the option number a is given 1. So accordingly, the option number a will be the correct answer for this question right so basically you all have to understand that we all have to learn all the properties because you all know that in this paper we all have given total 80 questions and for those 80 questions you have given only two hours to solve them right so that means according to those uh, uh, according to this timing and the number of questions you have only one minute and 30 seconds to solve a single question right so accordingly you all have to minimize your time so please revise the short notes daily learn make a short note copy first of all make a short note copy 
we will write down all the all the distributions right uh, for the continuous case and the discrete case then learn their properties like all four moments their formula for uh, moment generating function median mode etc whatever you think that it is important for this paper and we have to learn it just add that important note in your short in your short notes copy right so it will help you a lot at the end of this year right before this exam you can easily revise your copy your important short notes right okay and at the end i would like to tell you all if you all want to join my live classes i am giving the live classes these are the paid classes it will help you a lot in your preparation i am going to clear every concepts from the basic right if you are uh, like if you are not very good in statistic but still you will get every basic concepts in my class so please do let me know just contact me on this instagram the instagram id is available on this screen and from my instagram account you can take my whatsapp number right so you can ask me further details on my whatsapp and i am going to end it right now so thank you everyone for watching this video have a nice day